It's live from last week, episode 26. Let's go! Welcome, my fellow jaywalkers, to another episode of Live from Last Week. Hope last week has served you well. Just a quick shameless plug before we go on with this episode. Just want you guys to like and share this video and subscribe to the channel when you get the chance. But anyways, after last week's very eventful episode, we've got more in store for you guys this week. Like the fact that I've got my new motorcycle battery charged and ready to go, ready to be installed, maybe tomorrow. And I also got a notification that I got a package from Amazon waiting on my doorstep. So let's go check out what I got. Yeah, Amazon package. But we'll wait till the fiance comes home before we open this package up for you guys. And I also have a gift bag that I'm gonna deliver today. As a thank you gift to one of my friends who let me use their parking spot for the mini over the past month. Hey Kay. <laughs> thank you so much for allowing us to use your parking spot. For the month of May. <laughs> there you go. Oh, no way! Thanks, guys! So after that delivery, I went to pick up the fiancé from work. Where I'm finally able to show off to you guys my new mobile office space. Woo! We got the new office of Jaywalker POV. Hold up a second, guys. Just want to show you something that I forgot to reveal to you earlier in the episode. Late last week, I actually got another accessory for my Mini. Ta-da! It's a brand new steering wheel cover. And this is how I struggled to put it on. Yeah, okay. Yeah. All right, let's continue to my new office setup. Got my hard drive here, my laptop here, my mouse with mouse pad, and a nice scenic view. It's perfect. Anyways, when I got home from picking her up, I got her to open up the Amazon package that we received earlier. We then used teamwork to assemble this package together, and this is what we made. If you guys have ever been in a long-term relationship, you find out that when you give a gift, you don't necessarily have to give the most expensive gift out there, but rather something that is very practical will be appreciated just as much. Especially when you have to replace something as simple as a laundry hamper. But before I go to bed tonight, I have a birthday greeting for today. Just want to wish a happy birthday to Grace. Happy birthday, Grace. It's been a long while, but I remember hanging out with you when I was living near Ryerson. And now, to the present time, when you're the one who's living downtown, in a new condo, in my old neighborhood. Anyways, hope you're doing well, hope that you had a great birthday, and congratulations on your recent engagement as well. So, although I have a night shift tonight, I woke up hella early this morning in order to drive the fiancé to work for her day shift. Not for any reason in particular, but to earn brownie points for the future. But anyways, after I dropped her off, I made my way to Canadian Tire and I saw that they had a 40% off sale for air pumps. And I decided to buy one as another gift for my Mini. And the other reason you ask? It's because over the past year, I've either been pumping up my motorcycle tires with a hand pump or this bicycle pump. And now, I don't have to do that. It will be all hands-free. But before I go in for my night shift tonight, I have a birthday greeting for Alex. Happy birthday, Alex. It's been a while since I first met you back when you were in grade seven at Good Shepherd. To seeing you now in the present, growing up with your beautiful young family. Anyways, Alex, I hope you're doing well. Hope your family is staying healthy. And I also hope that your children spoiled you for your birthday this year. Last night during night shift, I told my coworker Therese that I had a surprise to show them in the morning. This is it. You want to open it? Okay. After she told me that her husband had always wanted a mini, I let her sit in the driver's seat. How is it? Why are you selling this car now? Oh, I'm going to sell it to Therese in two years. <laughs> wow. You're gonna have very nice summer, you. You like it? When are you gonna take us uh, like for a trip? Yeah, when or the pandemic is over. No, that's too late. <laughs> it's gonna be too late. Hmm. 
<laughs> so yeah, next time I'm in your area, Therese, maybe I'll let you and your husband go for a test drive. But this time, since I wasn't able to bring Therese on a mini carpool, I ran into another coworker, Josie, and I let her carpool instead. And on the way home, we also saw a cute doggo. Oh, And to top it off, after Josie made a takeout food order in the morning. Bye Josie! Thank you so much! <laughs> Look at that takeout! And the takeout! <laughs> I finally felt like a professional Uber slash delivery person. But later in the evening while I was driving the fiancé to work for her night shift, we saw some construction on Richmond on the way and it looks like they're upgrading the bike lanes and adding some nice street art to the bike barriers. In addition, I also passed by one of my co-workers coming off their day shift. What's up, Ruby? Hey! <laughs> and picked up a new passenger to join me in my new mini carpool segment. Welcome to the mini experience. Alrighty. Ooh, new car. <laughs> so exciting. <laughs> Bye, Kennedy. Have fun at Metro! <laughs> I'm feeling pretty tired this evening, so I think I'll call it an early night tonight. But before I do, I have a couple of birthday greetings for today. First, wanted to wish a happy birthday to Andy. Happy birthday, Andy! It's been a while, but I remember all our hangouts that we had at Wysik. As well as meeting up with you, Yvonne, and Big Joe to go for Salad King that one time. Anyways, Andy, I hope you're doing well, staying safe and healthy out there, and I hope that you had a happy birthday. And next birthday greeting I have for Marielle. Happy birthday, Marielle. Man, since the pandemic, I'm missing all the meetups that we used to have back in the day. From our several hangouts to traveling the world, including Mexico with you. And I see that you're keeping busy on Facebook, so keep that up. Anyways, Marielle, I hope you're keeping healthy at this time, that you had a happy birthday, and I can't wait till this pandemic is over so we can celebrate again properly. So I guess last night I was just so exhausted that I passed out on the couch around 9.30 watching the NBA playoffs, sleeping intermittently on and off, just to wake up not too long ago. And as the clock says, it's around 4 a.m. right now. So what I'm thinking is I might as well get up right now, edit some video, and go downtown early to pick up the fiance from night shift later this morning. Got two packages in the mail today. I think they might be something that I ordered from Alibaba probably a couple weeks ago. And I'm thinking it might be some new gifts for the mini. And now that it's finally tomorrow, it's time to check out the gifts that I got from my mini and my packages from yesterday. Whoa! Check this out. Woohoo! Nos, baby! Time to give my mini the Fast and the Furious treatment. So check this out. Say, for example, I'm driving and I need a boost. Boom! I got my Nos in my glove compartment, baby! So enough for surprises for today. I think I'll leave it at that. And maybe tomorrow, I'll open this one up for you guys. Now being back home and getting a couple of hours of sleep after getting up so early this morning, I can't help but think it's already been a week since I brought the black motorcycle out to get donated. Anyways, once again, black motorcycle, I'd like to thank you for the service that you've provided me for like six plus years. And I hope that you're enjoying yourself in motorcycle heaven at this time. And before I go on for my first of my four night shifts tonight, I have a couple of birthday greetings for you guys today. First, I want to wish a happy birthday to one of my childhood friends, Dalton. Happy birthday, Dalton. I'm remembering being one of your first friends when you moved into my neighborhood back when we were children, as well as playing soccer with you when we were younger. Anyways, Dalton, I hope you're doing well, staying safe and healthy out there, and I hope that your family and your children spoiled you well for your birthday this year. And next, I have a birthday greeting for Bayao. Happy birthday, Bayao. I remember meeting you and the crew back in Chicago years ago for the SMIOA event. And I've seen since then you've traveled all around the states living from the east coast to the west coast. Anyways Bayo, hope you're doing well, staying safe out there, hope to reunite with you in the future, and I hope that you had a happy birthday. So early this morning, after work, I basically went straight to Scarborough, picked up the fiance, and drove her all the way to Mississauga just so that we can see her parents and her father for Father's Day weekend. And I was happy to do it. One reason is because last night, I forgot to buy a lotto ticket for the $70 million jackpot. And I pretty much had to get her to leave what she was doing at home, 
go out to the convenience store and get a lotto ticket for me. So I kind of felt bad about that, but as usual, she was able to pull through. And when I asked her what I can do in the future to help prevent this from happening, she came up with this response. So thanks again, fiance, for pulling through for me. But yeah, on our way to Mississauga, a nice little Subaru caught my eye. So if you guys know what that graphic was that was on the side of that car, feel free to comment below so that I'm educated about that cool graphic as well. But anyways, right now I'm off to work for my second of my four night shifts and I guess I'll see you guys tomorrow. First of all guys, just want to wish all the fathers and father figures out there a happy Father's Day. Especially this guy, my dad. Happy Father's Day Tito Eddie. So, the thing is, I didn't really know what to get my dad for Father's Day this year. And I remember when I visited him that he had a bunch of golf clubs in his shed. So, I did some research last night and decided to get him a Groupon. But the thing is, with this Groupon, I didn't realize or think about it. It's a voucher for a full 18 hole golf course experience. And the thing is, I forgot that my dad is 69 years old, coupled with the fact that we're both beginners and not really that good at golf. Plus, an 18 hole game of golf for beginners approximately takes about four to five hours. And that I actually don't really like playing golf. But whatever, anything for my dad. I guess we're gonna be going golfing sometime soon. But yeah, here you go Tito Eddie, the Father's Day card that I'm gonna give you for Father's Day. And also, following on with some other news in my life, one of my ultimate favorite co-workers is transferring units and has the opportunity to work in the ICU soon. And that co-worker is PK. Bro, I'm wishing you all the best. I enjoyed our experience while you were working with me for the last eight or nine years. And I hope that you make the most out of this opportunity, like I know you will. But on to some good news, we got a couple of birthday greetings for you today. First, want to wish a happy birthday to Lisa Lynn. Happy birthday, Lisa Lynn. I'm always inspired hearing about all the experiences that this girl has in the nursing field, as well as how chill and cool she handles everything. But yeah, anyways, Lisa Lynn, hope you're doing well, staying healthy out there, and I hope that you had a happy birthday. The next birthday greeting I have is for one of my coworkers, Buchanan. Happy birthday, Nat. I wanted to say, I truly miss your sense of humor while working together with you, as well as your experience and presence on the unit. Also, I wanted to congratulate you on your beautiful young newborn. At this time, I hope mom and baby are doing well and staying healthy. And I hope that you, Nat, have a happy birthday as well. But yeah, I wanted to continue on with a mini carpool segment that I had with one of my other co-workers this morning. Mescana! Come on! Come on! <laughs> what car do you think is mine? It should be a fashionable car. Fashionable car. She loves it. She loves it, eh? Yeah, man. Let's go now. I forgot I had uh, the my hello card. A hero card. You're right. home. How did you like your experience? Oh my god, it's so wonderful. <laughs> Thank you, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, peace oh, out, peace yeah, out, peace out. <laughs> and I also want to share with you guys an experience that I had after I dropped him off. Oh my gosh, I'm in a dilemma right now. Check this out. Ah, look at all the geese. How do I get out of here? There's so many geese. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. There, there's too many. There's just too many geese. Okay, I think they're allowing me to go that way. Wish me luck. Excuse me. Excuse me, geese. Excuse me, geese. Bye, geese. And it looks like I came out unscathed. And I guess that just means I'm ready to go in for my third or my fourth night shift tonight. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. So today is June 21st and I'm welcoming you guys to the first day of summer. One, two, three, four. But anyways, this morning after my night shift, I had a mad craving of something that I haven't had in a long time. 
So on my way home, I dropped by the grocery store and bought these babies. And if you don't know what these are, boy, you guys missed out on your childhood. They're basically cheese sticks that actually you can peel down and make string out of them. Hence the name cheese string. And one of my favorite things to do when I was younger is to just peel them down and make either an octopus like this or a dread style piece of art like this. But anyways, these things do take me back. So all my people out there that were kids in the 90s, feel free to comment below on the last time you remember having a cheese string. But anyways guys, remember this package I was supposed to open a couple days ago? Well, let's open it up now. Let's see what it is. Ho ho! I was thinking about unraveling it to reveal what it is, but I've decided to leave you guys on a cliffhanger and we'll open it and reveal it to you guys on next week's episode. So stay tuned. But otherwise, if you thoroughly enjoyed this episode and want to see more content from Jaywalker POV, feel free to follow Jaywalker POV on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. Make sure to like and share this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notifications bell to be notified when new videos from Jaywalker POV come out. And once again, I'd like to thank you guys for watching. Stay safe and healthy out there, and we'll see you next time on Live From Last Week.